so excited. I have my very first Wannable. I wanted to have it. I wanted to get it um, for a while now, but I just haven't pulled the trigger. And I pulled the trigger, so I am super excited. I just sliced it open. I haven't looked inside. Um, it is a subscription service that you can set up recurring subscriptions, which is, I think I, I have every three months you can do just in time, kind of whenever you're feeling it, create a order a box. I'm sure there's other things, but I don't know because I'm just learning. So this seven items come in. You try it all on. There is product details and pricing inside the envelope in the package. You leave a quick review of your edit. Um, which pieces you're keeping, which pieces you're exchanging, and then you send it back in the prepaid return envelope. Okay, unworn with the tag still attached, drop the envelope at any post office or schedule a free pickup. So, oh, look how cute this is. It says, styled for Elizabeth. So I look like a hot mess. We're having family over for Sunday dinner, but, it is a tall bundle. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get it out of here. Let's see. Let's go up there. How about that? All right. Oh my gosh. Look at these. Oh, I can't wait to see. Here's the prepaid envelope. This is super cute. And then you deserve to feel beautiful. So I put in there, I don't wear, let me drop back down again. I don't wear anything around my neck like turtlenecks or mock necks. I'm not, a, that's not a thing. Um, no tab sleeves. I'm trying hard to get away from cold shoulder because as a big girl, that's all we had and florals. So she says, hi, Elizabeth, welcome to Wannable. How exciting this is your first style edit. I'm Lauren, your personal stylist. I see you already visited the stream, which is, you know, uh, you can request or decline things. Happy to style around the three requests from your wish list. See right, I'm like to request with a coral heart. Oh, in addition to your fabulous picks, I also included some versatile pieces for you to wear for work or on the weekend. I know you were looking to add some edgy pieces, so I thought the easel sweater would be such a fun choice. I'll keep my eyes peeled for some great dresses for next time, too. Elizabeth, enjoy your first style edit. You get five days to try on. Be sure to leave me some feedback during self-checkout and let me know what you love and don't love. Enjoy Lauren the Stylist. So you get a discount if you keep all five I can't remember exactly what it is, 20% maybe, if you keep all five. So, let's see what we got here. All right, this, let me keep my little style thing open so I can refer back to it. This is a split band crew neck pullover, true red and one X by eight weeks. Oh, it's, it's lightweight. It's a nice material. It's got cuffs at the bottom and a band on the bottom. I like the color a lot. That will be good for a casual weekend or if we're having meetings from home. Oh, these I'm excited about. These are super out of my comfort zone, but I saw them and I thought they were really cute. These are tie waist print pant in black or camel 2X by Skies Are Blue. Okay. So how stinking cute are these? They're a wide leg, they're really lightweight, they have a stripe down the side, they have a tie front and an elastic waist. So I'm gonna be very interested to see how these look on me, but I think they're super cute and they're outside of my comfort zone. I usually, if I'm wearing pants to school, it's usually jeans um, or leggings under a dress. 
All right, this is a slow time waffle tunic top in bar 1X by Sanctuary. Is that right? Yep. Um, it's just a, it's a great weight waffle knit. It's got a little bit of ribbing at the bottom, matches the hem, but I don't do white. I don't, I don't wear white things. I don't know why. I think because I'm messy and I'm afraid that I'm going to get stuff all over it. So it's pretty. It's a great weight. I don't know. It's on sale though. I'll get to the pricing. This color block leopard sweater in faded blue 1x by easel oh <laughs> okay all right I'm, I'm digging this this is super cute it's got like a peachy um in with a pink it's a peachy pink kind of marled at the top then a creamy print and then gray and then blue marled with white at the bottom so I am super excited to try that on. That's adorable. Okay. Then we have the textured rib ruch sleeve top and mustard. It's a 1X. It's by Max Studio. This was on my list. The color is not as bright as I thought it was going to be, but it's got these cute little ruchy arms that I wanted to try out. Maybe this is a better tone for me than a bright yellow. This is really a true mustard. So that's cute. That would look cute with the vest under or over top of it. Then I have high rise button fly cuffed skinny in dark blue 18W by Verve. I'm saying that French. I don't know if that's actually right. Verve, Vervet, Vervet. <laughs> I don't know. It's just got a cuff here at the bottom. No distressing. I have never owned button fly pants. These are completely button fly, um, but it is high rise, so maybe it'll work. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna try those on. That's exciting. And they're really a great price for jeans. Okay, and then last but not least, this is oversized cozy popcorn cardigan in taupe, 1X by Davy and Danny. Okay, it is super soft. It has pockets. A little bit, it looks like, of a balloon. It's a great neutral color. It's cozy, but it's not super tightly woven. It's got a little bit of an open knit in here. Oh, this is cute too. Okay, so I'm gonna try that on. So I am super excited. This looks like a good mix. So I will be back with my first outfit on. Okay, so here is outfit one. The top is a great material. I, I mean, you can see this part I'm not happy about. about and you can see you have to wear kind of a smooth bra because I have a little bow that's sticking out because it's a thinner material but it's a great weight it's a good length it's got the little slices here you know the little notches this is not a legging one because it's pretty short okay but you know get closer it's just like a cotton nice under undershirt I'm part of a Red Knights Motorcycle Club, and this would be nice to wear on, you know, cooler late spring mornings if we're going for a ride, because we're red. So this this is good. I have to think about this one, though. We'll see what the other ones do. Um, I'm going to put another shirt on, and then I will come back after the shirts and then talk about the jeans. Okay? Okay, so here's the next. This is the... Kind of ribbed Henley. Well, it's not even a Henley because it's got this neck. Um, but it is a notch. notch. Sorry, the dog is playing in the other room. Notch. It looks like it's got a little bit of a high low. Maybe it's the same. 
Um, forgive my purpley bra. It's all the same kind of pattern here. It's really lightweight. I didn't think I was going to like it. But it's, it's pretty good. Sorry. It's, it's pretty good. See? Yeah. What do you think? I mean, it's a layer piece. We'll see. Okay, so here is the sweater that I was, I think, the most looking forward to besides these pants that are coming up next. Um, I mean, the sleeves are really cute, little, just a little, like, perfect amount of balloon here, not too big. The stripes um, are not necessarily my favorite. Um, I wish they would go up a little. I'm not sure. Okay, but it's a good length. It fits well. But it was nixed by Ben as soon as I put it on. So not a favorite. The other two, very much you liked. So we'll see. I'll watch the video, play it back, see what it looks like. Um, I'm going to talk about the jeans because I'm going to switch pants here and, and shortly. But these jeans are, um, they're high, you know, belly button here, button fly, but they fit really well, I think. There's like five buttons all the way up. They're nice and stretchy. The bottoms of them are a cute little cuff. They hit my, they hit me perfectly. The ankle. These are good. These are good pants. I'm struggling to find jeans that I really like that fit me well. Um, and these got a lot of stretch to them. I think these might be a keeper. We'll see. Okay, so I put the cardigan on over the that cream colored shirt. It's a good length. It's super cozy, super soft. The sleeves are nice. A little bit of the balloon, but not too big. It's fuzzy. Let's see if you can see that. It's got that fuzzy texture the whole way. It does have pockets. Two pockets in the front, which is nice. No buttons or anything. Just two pockets. Comes down to about knee length. It's a great neutral. It would go with pretty much everything. So this is definitely a contender. It's nice and soft. It lays nicely. It's not too bulky. I could hang it up in my office at school and grab it on the days where it's cold and blustery outside. So what do you think? Good, good neutral and good basic to incorporate in the wardrobe. Okay, so here are the last two pieces. Here's the sh shirt, sorry. Here's the shirt, it's got the cute little puffy sleeve. I don't usually like three quarters, but this is a good three quarter. It's just tight enough that it's not gonna be falling down, but I don't feel like it's cutting off my circulation. It's got a little notch here. It's just straight across. The material's nice. Um, it's just got a little tiny band here at the top and no band or anything at the bottom, just, it's a mustard color. It looks, you know, a little striped. I don't know if you can tell in there. It's a lighter yellow with kind of the golden mustard color. This is kind of cute. Um, I like the little puffy sleeves. They balance a little bit of the bottom half out. So that's kind of nice. This is cute. It would be cute with a pair of jeans. Just, you know, tucked in with a coat. All right, so this is cute. The pants, I was so hopeful. Um, so there is like super a lot of material here in this region. So if I move, it bunches up, 
Uh, it's their, just their really wide leg. Um, they do have pockets and they're really cute print and they're nice and light. So they're, they're good for um, kind of all seasons. If it was really cold out and you like these, you could wear tights underneath, but they are not for me. Um, it is just, there's just too much here, too much bulk. Um, they need to be, you know, like that. <laughs> So the pants, unfortunately, are a no. The shirt's kind of cute, though. The color is great for fall and winter and even into spring. You could mix this with, you know, browns, brown pants, brown skirt, or black, black and gold. So it's kind of, this is, shirt is really cute. So we'll see. i got to make some decisions. All right, we go get changed one more time and then come back and talk. Okay, so let's talk prices and possibilities. So the waffle tunic top in that creamy, it's bar, bear, why am I saying bar? That's, it's bear, it is on sale for $29.50. The black and camel pants with the big lots of material in the crotchal area, are on sale for $47.99. That popcorn cardigan, the long one, that's really soft, is $70. As I took that one off, I heard the static, so I think that is not gonna work for me, being in and out of buildings, walking across campus, coat on and off. Um, I, I don't wanna be a staticky mess, so I think that one's gonna go back, that's $70. The mustard shirt with the cute little puff sleeves is 52. The color block leopard sweater with a big leopard bar across the top is 68. The jeans, the verve jeans um, are $64, which is a great price for jeans. And then the red pullover is 59. So. The merchandise total for the entire box is $390.49. The keep five discount is $78.10, which would bring the order to $287.39. Minus the styling fee credit of $21. And then I had a $25 um, off my final purchase and then sales tax. So if I bought everything, all seven pieces, it would be $283.43. But we know that's not gonna happen because those pants are going back, the cardigan is going back, the striped sweater is going back. So I wanna just kinda sit down and think about what, what will work in my wardrobe, what will I get the most bang for my buck out of. Um, and what, I, what do I want to spend my money on here on the first one? I uploaded another video um, recently that was from another styling box service, and I kept one of the shirts in there. So that's also going to come into play with this to see what ends up in my wardrobe. So feel free to comment. Let me know what you would keep if you were me.